This is a circuit to demonstrate the current consumption for an electric motor driven by an electric speed controller from a sealed lead acid battery. The current flows from the battery to the speed controller and is potent out by pulse width modulation to the electric motor. From the electric motor the current flows back via the speed controller to the battery. The electronic speed controller has a back circuit that powers the receiver and feeds the signal to the speed controller. Between the speed controller and the battery an ampere meter is connected that measures the flow of current. The battery is a 6 volt battery with 4.5 ampere hours capacity. The electronic speed controller accepts around 6 to 9 volts and has a limit of 10 amperes. This means that the speed controller won't work under 6 volts and will probably break down if more than 10 volts is fed into it or if the current consumption is greater than 10 amperes. The electronic motor is rated 6 volts. Running the circuit on low speed one can see the current consumption. This consumption is regardless of the rating of the battery. This means that the circuit will not consume more current if the battery was at 2 ampere hours or 10 ampere hours. This consumption is also regardless of the rating of the speed controller. This means that the circuit will not consume more current if the rating of the speed controller was 5 amperes or 30 amperes. Running the circuit on high speed one can see that the current consumption goes up. This is because more work is done by the motor. And if the motor is stressed the current consumption goes up even higher. One interesting thing about this is when the electric motor is stalled the current consumption peaks. More current cannot be consumed by the motor. So if the stalled current is 8 amperes there is no need for an electric speed controller rated at 100 amperes. Replacing the ampere meter with the fuse is a good thing. And since the current consumption for this circuit is lower than 5 amperes, this is a good fuse size.